is going on everybody welcome back to the channel today i need to go and take care of our horse's hooves it's been muddy for like the past five or six days and so i want to go out and kind of scrape out all that crud make sure there's no dirt make sure there's no rocks or anything like that that is in their hooves but first i need to find the hoof conditioner and i also need to get my good hoof pick this is definitely a chore that you should make part of your regular routine a good healthy hoof on a horse is vital to the overall health of that horse. So make sure you're doing this as much as possible. So really what I'm looking for right here is just cleaning out these corners, coming all the way down through the frog, cleaning everything out, making sure there's no rocks or, or nothing in there that's gonna make any of this bruised. I'm also just checking to make sure there's nothing crazy going on here in the sole. It's about all I do. Nice clean feet. So after I get done cleaning the hooves, what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of a conditioner on it, just on the outside of those hooves. And when you're coating the outside of that foot, make sure that you're putting a liberal amount all the way around. I've got one horse done, I need to get two more done. If you're interested about the products that we're using, this is the hoof conditioner. This is, this is the hoof conditioner, it's by Farnham, it's the Horseshoe Secret. This is our favorite horse conditioner, and then and this is absolutely my favorite hoof pick. It's the ultimate hoof pick, and the problem that you have with a lot of hoof picks is that the pick part itself is super crummy, like it's super lightweight, and at some point it'll bend. This thing, I think I've had it for two years now or three years and it doesn't bend at all. Look at that. That thing is super strong. It will not bend and it'll definitely get into all the spots that you need it to.
Also, it seems a little bit strange that I even have to say this, but I'm not a vet and I'm not a farrier, so if you have any real concerns about your horse's hooves, you may want to call a local professional. Well, that's pretty much it, you guys. It took me about 10 minutes to do all three of these horses, so there's really no excuse not to do it. Take care of yourselves, take care of your horses, and we'll see you next time.